Hi guys, so today's video is going to be another empties video. Um, this will be, I guess since I did an empties video in January, this will be all of my empties from February, but I guess I'm going to call it March empties since it's March. I don't know yet, so I guess we'll see. But I do have a lot of good stuff in here, so why don't we just get started because I kind of have accumulated a lot. I'm just going to dig right in and get started as usual. On top here, I have an Aussie Sprunch Spray. This is one of my favorite hair, pro hair care products, and I use this every time I fix my hair. So this is one of my favorite products, and I have purchased this over and over again countless times. So I absolutely love this product. I have also used up a Bath & Body Works um, hand soap. This is the Beach Flower Scent. I don't know why I grabbed this, because I have tons of Christmas soaps, but I guess this one was at the front, so I just used it. But I really liked this scent. I don't think this is a permanent um, scent in their collection, but I do like this, and I love the foaming hand soaps. That's all I use. I also used up the Twisted Peppermint um, Triple Moisture Body Cream by Bath & Body Works. This was one of my favorite scents um, for Christmas time, along with the Merry Marshmallow Kiss, which I used up this shower gel. So I have lots of Bath & Body Works stuff in this empty, so I also used up this shower gel and this lotion. I also used up a body wash. This is the creamy body wash from Bath & Body Works in the scent Moonlit Path. Moonlight Path, and I really liked the creamy body wash. Um, it's kind of different than the gel, so this was new for a change, and I really liked that. I also used some cotton rounds. These are just the Up and Up brand from Target. I also used a conditioner. This is the Clear Scalp and Hair Beauty Therapy conditioner and this is the strong links kind and I think I featured the shampoo in my last empty so I finished up the conditioner but I really liked this but I'm probably not going to repurchase it just because there's so many shampoo and conditioners out there that I want to try but I really did enjoy this. I also used up the Neutrogena Makeup Removing Cleansing Wipes and I've actually kind of stopped using the um, makeup wipes because I've started using the Bosha Cleanse Off Oil and I love that oil so much, so I'm not really using these, but I use it to just clean up my makeup or my hands after I've used um, foundation or something like that. So I do really like these, but I'll probably purchase a cheaper brand than um, these that are like $6, I think. And I used up my Simple Replenishing Rich Moisture Moisturizer, and this is the Simple brand. Um, probably won't be repurchasing this just because I don't really think I remember it doing much for my skin. And like I said about the shampoo, there's so many um, moisturizers out there that I really want to try. So probably won't be repurchasing this guy. I have some makeup stuff. Um, this is the Great Lash by Maybelline um, Clear Mascara. And I use this for my brows, but I stopped because I repurchased my Anastasia Brow Gel in Clear. But, um... I personally don't like this. Um, it did not hold my eyebrows at, in place at all, and that's all I used it for, but could not tell that it worked. So I know it's cheaper than the clear brow gel, but the clear brow gel works really good. So I'm going to be repurchasing that and not this. And plus, it gets really gross, and I don't like the look of that. I have some more makeup products. First, I have the uh, Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer for Under Your Eyes, and this is in Fair, and um, I really do like this. I use this under my eyes, and if I have um, like a blemish or something that's really red, then I'll put that on it because it helps with the redness. And I also used up some mascaras and eyeliner. I'm missing the mascara, though. Here it is. Whew. Okay, I used up my YSL Baby Doll sample that I had. There's a hair on me somewhere. I can't stand when there's a hair on you. You can't find it. I used up this YSL Baby Doll mascara, and I got this from Sephora as a sample, and I really, really like it. Probably going to purchase the full size whenever I want to spend $30 on a mascara, so I really like the YSL. Um, this is the Beauty Control. <clears throat> Sorry. The Beauty Control Waterproof Mascara, and my mom kind of sells Beauty Control just a little bit, like not big time, but just for her friends and stuff, and she had this waterproof mascara. I think it was during the summer sometime, and I needed it because we were going to the lake, something like that, and so that's why I was using this for, um, just because it was convenient. 
And then I also have the Benefit The Real Mascara, and I do like this. I actually have a sample that I'm using right now, and I do like this, but I don't know if I'm going to repurchase it or not just because there's so many mascaras out there that I want to try. And then this is the L'Oreal Infallible Super Slim Eyeliner, and I actually did just repurchase this, and I love it. Um, the tip on it is really thin, if you can see that. So it's really great to get a really thin line and to make a really um, sharp cat eye if that's what you want to do. So I really do like this eyeliner. I used up this hand food um, hand cream and I got this at Sephora. And um, I don't really think I'll be repurchasing this because I like the Bath and Body Works hand creams better. And they're more convenient because my Sephora doesn't carry this because I have a Sephora in my JCPenney, and so they don't really carry this, but I do like the Bath & Body Works hand creams better. And I have a couple more things. I have a hand gel from Bath & Body Works. This is the Farm Stand Apple. Y'all know I love my Germix from Bath & Body Works. And then I have this Soap & Glory um, Clarifying Daily Detox Facial Wash. It's a mouthful <laughs> and I use this in the shower and I really did like this I just I think I actually bought this because I needed like two dollars until I could get free shipping and this is like three so that's why I bought it and it was great for the shower and then I have a deodorant and this is the Dove Sensita Skin Unscented Deodorant and I have got to where I use the unscented deodorant because it um my brother's making a lot of noise because if I sweat and I use a scented deodorant, I tend to smell that smell all day long, this, the scent of whatever my deodorant is, and I just cannot stand that. So that's why I started using um, the unscented deodorant. I know that sounds really gross, but if you've ever experienced that, then you know what I'm talking about. So that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> and I also have been trying to use up a bunch of samples this month. And I used up a few samples. Um, I used up this Garnier Fructiste Fall Fat Falling Breaking Hair Shampoo and Conditioner. And it just looks like this in a little green pouch. I used that the other day. It really smells really good. And I also used a Hemp's Body Lotion. This is the original Hydrate and Nourish Body Lotion. I used a Bliss Lemon and Sage Body Butter. And I remember this smelling really, really good really hydrating and I also use the bare mineral purely another hair I also use the bare minerals purely nourishing moisturizer for your skin and then I always have candles in my empties video but I have three candles and they're all by Bath and Body Works of course I have tis the season this smells like cranberry and apples it smells really good and then I have um, Champagne Toast. I really like this one as well. And then my all-time favorite candle for the winter months is the Marshmallow Fireside Candle. And I love this. I think I bought like four or five because they always kept selling out. So I just bought a huge stockpile of them and I really liked this candle a lot. So that does it for this month's empties video. I usually don't do these every month, but I think it's kind of been working out where it's like every other month I have an empties video. So I really like these videos and I think that y'all do too. So I hope that you enjoyed and if you did, please like my video and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. So thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to y'all soon. Bye!